Finish. Yeah! yeah! Patrick. Oh. oh. Shit. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the help. Oh. Yeah! Oh, nice. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel and tonight for the first time in what feels like a very long time we are heading back to Cannon Park, the home of Retford United as they take on Rainworth Miners Welfare. So in today's video I've got my thoughts pre and post match as well as the match day vlog itself so without further ado, let's get into the video. So just before we get the video underway, if I could ask a huge favour from you all, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like whether you're an old or new viewer, let's aim for 30 likes on this video and also I've been nominated for a football content award for best in non-league so it's the first link in the description if you head over go down to the non-league section on the form go to best in non-league and the video category drop down box click Adam Gittings in there and please send me a vote it is really greatly appreciated from me and let's bring that award home but anyway enough about that for now let's get into my pre-match thoughts. So I think the best place to start here is with the league table. So starting with the host for tonight, Retford United. And they've only played eight games so far this season and they're currently sitting in ninth place in the table after five wins, one draw and two defeats. But like I said, we have got a lot of games in hand. If they win the games in hand, they can go up to third place. And as for Rainworth, they have played three games more, played 11 games and they're currently in 11th place in the table after five wins, no draws and six defeats. So Redford's last result was a bit of a goal fest to be fair, a 12 goal thriller which they were on the wrong side of as they lost 8-4 uh, away at Charlton in the FA Vars. So the last result in the league was actually at home where they had a bit of a shock 1-0 loss to Colville Town. So they've lost the last two games in a row in all competitions but before that they had won five games in a row and they were unbeaten in seven. So they've been in good form before you know, this um, bit of a dull, but like I say, they haven't played too many games lately. Uh, they've had two and a half weeks in the league without a match due to cup games and cancellations and stuff like that. So, you know, they've got a good chance to uh, get back on track here with, um, you know, a match that they'd probably be expected to win. So, you know, do them some good and, you know, catch up with these games in hand and hopefully they can move up the table with a win tonight. And as for Rainworth, their last result was a 1-0 home win against Clifton All-White. So, They've currently won two games in a row, and it's fair to say it's been a mixed season. No draws so far. They've either won or lost all the matches, winning five of them and losing six. So nearly a 50-50 record there, to be fair. So and that's kind of why they're in mid-table at the minute. Um, so like I say, two wins in a row playing against Redford United, who's lost two in a row. You'd think it's probably the best time for Rainworth to play them, but... You know, it could be one of them where form goes out of the window. Redford's not played for a while, so it's going to be interesting to see how the matchup. I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction for today then. So Redford going to end their losing streak or Rainworth going to carry theirs on. My prediction is I think the Badgers are going to get the win here. I think we're going to get back on track with a win and um, yeah, get some points on uh, the teams who's played more games and start to climb up the table. So I'm going to go Redford United 3, Rainworth minus Welfare 1. Anyway, that concludes my pre-match thoughts then. So, like I say, it feels like a very long time since I last went to Cannon Park. And that was a loss against um, Clipstone Welfare. But hopefully the result will be different this time around. So, I think it's time to head off there then. So, without further ado, let's head on over to Cannon Park and see how today's game goes. Number 9, Jake Champion. Number 10, Liam Owen. And number 11, Brad Doherty. The subs today. 
Since tonight, number 14, Mark West. I'll run away. Oh, 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 Nice. Oh, 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 okay. What about all, Chum? Oh, keep going. What about Paul? Don't walk there. Finish. Yeah! Oh, oh, finish. Really good, that. Oh, Looking down, lovely. Lovely. That was a brilliant finish for Superb. That was bloody good, that. He's been bunged and bunged and kicked. Well played, lad. Get in there. Oh, oh, he's not! He's not! He's played on Barry Hitson! Oh, straight out! Come on! Come on! Get in! Back post! Yeah! Oh, he's gone for it. He's joking, mate. Good ball. Keep going. Keep going. What ball? It's it! Nice. Yes! Get him! Well worked again! Well played this one, lad. He yeah, made yeah, that yeah. seven. Well played seven! Good advantage, by the way. Could have easily blew that. One of them. Well, she's six. Maybe that second goal. Seven. Yeah, yeah. 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 Half time, two nil to Redford United. Usually on the microphone on the bus. Good ball, nice miles on there. Hat trick. Oh, oh well so. Bad means hat trick as well. Good in it, Sam. Could play that on a Sunday. Oh, I've been to Giggle Lane, so. Point straight in. Paul. Yeah. Is that holding ground up there? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Oh, goal! Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, what a run. Safe. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, I said 3 1 before the game. Huh? Said 3 1 before the game. When is he still nil now? Preston are beating Watford. Oh, Blades are winning. Blades are winning. Go on, Westy. No one there. Kill the Ouch. <laughs> Go on, that's Pano. Yep. Pano. They're in the box now, right? Don't worry. He's going for his hat trick. He's going to. Here we go, chance for hat trick. Oh, nice. Hello. <laughs> Oh. oh, love the ball. Oh, oh. love the back. Oh. There's about 10 of them in the toilet doing lines in the toilet. Oh, oh. yeah! Oh, nice. See it? My mate. Oh, no one. Oh! What, you've done it again? Yes! yes. Oh, well done! Ego, ego. Ego, ego. 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 Equal score now. Should have come to chat at Yeah! Yeah!
Who scored that one? Uh, I'm not sure. Number 12? Yeah. Right? Full time, 7 1 to Redford United. Play full time. Okay, so I've just got back from the match at full time. It finished Retford United 7, Renworth minus Welfare 1. And first off, apologies, I've been saying Rainworth through the video. I didn't realise it were actually uh, pronounced Renworth. So um, my bad for that one. But in terms of the game, a very, very good performance from Retford United, which they needed to be fair. I know they'd lost two in a row before this. Um, so yeah, they, you know, they needed a win and uh, they got it, which um, yeah, and it would a pretty good statement to um, get that win as well with seven goals um, being scored and um, yeah they were ruthless tonight they um, finished really well I know last time I watched them against uh, Clipston uh, they had all the play but we just didn't have a shooting boots on that weren't the case tonight and to be honest it could have easily been more um, but saying that I didn't think Renworth were terrible the score like I say Retford were a lot better but I've seen a lot you know, worse teams come here and not get beat as easy. Uh, I think, like I say, Retford definitely had the shooting boots on tonight. And, um, yeah, if I didn't mess about, uh, we're putting Renworth away. Um, but, yeah, an enjoyable night. Like I say, it's been a while. It feels like a long time since I've been at Cannon Park. And um, it's great to be back. I really enjoy coming here. And, um, yeah, a good night. All in all, a good night for Retford United. And I said they were in ninth place going into tonight. They were only game on tonight and they had games in hand. So with that win, we've now jumped from ninth place to fourth place. So it shows just how um, how close it were and how if you win your games in hand, um, like I say, they're going to be up there come the end of the season. So in terms of Retford, they've just got to keep going, keep getting them wins. And um, as for Renworth, like I say, they've won two in a row before this. So... I'm sure they'll bounce back. I know it was a heavy defeat, but um, I'm sure they will come back from it uh, pretty well. And um, just while we're on subject to Redford United, um, they are one of the teams that, in terms of rate the ground, I said when I've been to uh, pre-season thriller matches, if I go at regular season, I'll do another rate the ground for it. So, um, yeah, I um, I didn't really announce I changed it. I just I thought it was a bit pointless doing a full rate the ground again because... A lot of criteria were the same, um, so I've just I just updated it in the table, which I um, which I didn't mention. I just put it in the table uh, the next time I did rate the ground after I'd redone it. Um, so I'll put the table up again just so you can see where they are. So as you can see, Retford United are in fifth place in the table with a very good score of nineteen and a half out of twenty five. This win on um, tonight's, I think this were when I went to the Clipstone match at home. Um, but yeah, I've updated them. I think Rosso and Rovers got updated as well. Um, like I said, I didn't do a full rate of ground because it'd be pretty much repeating what I said in the last one with a few small tweaks. Um, but yeah, that is how the table is looking currently. Um, so yeah, in terms of everything there, it's been a good night and I'm going to leave the video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video whether you're an old or new viewer. All the support really is greatly appreciated by me. And goes a long way to helping the channel grow. Also, remember to follow my social media at Adam Gittings PT on pretty much everything. And if you've not done already, please vote for me in the Football Content Awards for Best in Non-League Video. So, the next video on the channel, next match is going to be at the weekend on Saturday. And it's my favourite away day of the year. We're stopping on a Friday, Saturday night as well for it. I am very excited. We've got Grimsby Town versus Doncaster Rovers. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.